Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. Google just launched Google Plus this week and it's big social offering. Many see it as its uh, counter to Facebook. There's a new Android app that just came out yesterday and now that we have our invites and are in, we thought we'd take you on a little look. So, we're not going to dive too much on the website because, you know, we're all about the mobile. You might say we're into it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Android app. Uh, as you can notice, uh, clean UI kind of looks like the actual Google mobile page now. Same similar icons. You have notifications here. Looks like Mark Flores just added me as a friend or as a uh, he invited me to Google Plus. So some of the metaphors here are different than what you're used to. So you do have your stream which is similar to like your status and uh, you know in Twitter or in Facebook but where do does that content come from? It comes from your circles. So on the computer you can drag and drop people into different circles. So as you can see they have some predefined uh, predefined categories. You have you know your friends, you have your your colleagues, family. I added the Into Mobile one there. You can create an infinite amount or an infinite number of circles, it, it appears. I haven't actually tested that, but you can create a lot of them. And so the goal of that is to make sure that what you're sharing with, with this certain circle doesn't get out to other people. So you, if you don't want your boss to see your drinking photos, then you know, you wouldn't put that, you wouldn't put him in your friend circle and you wouldn't share that. And that's, uh, I guess, one of the major advantages to Facebook because although you can tailor who gets to see what in Facebook, most people don't and it's pretty much just a big open, uh, a big, it's, it's open to the world. So what else do we have? So your stream, right now uh, I don't have many friends on Google+, you know, I'm not as popular as you guys. Uh, working on it, also the service just went live yesterday and the invites are just rolling out to people. So here you have your status and you'd see other people. You can switch between your cir your circles. Um, this is the, another interesting factor is location. You can, you can tie your status to, you can tie your status updates to, um, to location. There's Ben Parr actually from Mashable, pretty close to where I live interestingly enough. And so that's also one of the concerns that some people can have is that you can broadcast it with such granularity but you can turn this off. So let's update the status. Testing Android app. Okay, then you have your location there. You can turn it on or to on or off. I'm going to leave it off here just because whatever. You can attach your photo you can attach photos or you can take one as well. Let's put the ugly couch in there, of course. Done. And that's it. Post. So I actually just exited out of there just to save time, so don't worry about that. But as I was saying, you can you have different ways to do your status, take photos, just write it. Is that that's location? So there you go. Hopefully this will be more populated as as I gain more friends if I, if I do. And then let's see what else you have in here. So photos. Um, you know, this is my Picasso album that's there, but one of the neat things is that it does instant upload from your Android phones, which is, you know, similar to what we have in the Kin and what we will soon have in iCloud. Ugly couch again. So it should automatically upload it, but you can also do, you can also send it to Google+. Plus. You know, as as similar there, if you want to make it your status, you can go through that interface. But if you don't care about that, if you just want to use it as sort of an archive, it should pop up there. It should pop up there in a, in a couple minutes. So you have your albums here. These are Picasso albums that I have. And then you have cir my circle here. As I said, don't really have many many contacts on there, so... It's not really going to do that. No connection. Good job, Sprint. 
but we also have Huddle, which is a group messaging app. So it's similar to like GroupMe or uh, Beluga. So you can send you can send out messages to either name, email, or circle. So I'm gonna say, see if Blake's there. Don't don't use those emails, guys. Come on, be cool. Hey, Blake. Uh, that's just single. That's one to one. So it's not a big deal, but what you could, but then you can also add them to circles. But if you wanted to send it to your friend's circle, you can also send it through there. And I guess it works via, via the app, you know, via SMS. So it's not just smartphone users there. So as I said, that's a quick look at Google+. Plus. Right now, it's still a little bit in the raw form because it's in a field trial, but once it gets flushed out, it'll be a much more useful app. It's very interesting to see what's going to happen with that. I'm not sure if I'd use this over Facebook right now just because everyone I know is on Facebook and not many people are on this, but we will. Uh, time will tell if that remains the same. So, <laughs> and there you go. That's the... That's the photo that, that I just took. Breathtaking. And these are actually photos that I took before. And they're uploading there too. Or you can, you can click to upload, or you can choose to upload them. Let's get this one cat. It's adorable. Boom. You can share that. It'll dig through there. Alright, now I'm rambling. So, sorry guys. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Google+. Plus. Android, and we'll have more for you soon. Thanks.